Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Pajama Preschool with Mrs. Mongarero. It's story time again. Today's story is a really good one. It's called Fish Out of Water. Let's begin. Fish Out of Water by Helen Palmer Illustrated by P. D. Eastman. What does illustrated mean? They drew the pictures. A fish out of water. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him and he likes me. I will call him Otto. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, when you feed a fish, never feed him a lot. So much, no more. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much. Just one little spot. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto. He just had to have more. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. Then... Something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow. I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fish bowl. There was just one thing to do. I put Otto in the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said, this will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny, not funny at all. His tail was growing right out of the top. I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then you will be all right. I put him in a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon, he was too big for the pot. I put him in pot after pot. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time. Very soon, I ran out of pots. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. At last, there, Otto, I said, this tub holds my father. This tub holds my mother. So it will hold you. But the tub did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Then, crash, the door went down, crash. Otto went down, I went down too. Oh, what a ride. Down went the water into the cellar and down went Otto too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. I called the policeman. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What, said the policeman. Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad, I will come at once. The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. 
The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in the cellar. We will have to get him out. We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him too much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. Now we had Otto out of the cellar, but now he had no water. No water at all. A fish has to have water. I said to the policeman, we must take him to the water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help, he said. A boy has fed his fish too much. A boy has fed his fish too much? We will come at once. The fireman came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him, I asked. Uptown? Downtown? To the pool, the fire, yelled the fireman. To the pool, I yelled, and please hurry. They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The fireman yelled, everyone get out of the pool. The fish is going in. Down into the pool went Otto. Into the pool with a big, big splash. Now I was happy. Now at last my auto had water. Lots of water. This big pool was just a thing. This big pool would hold him. But Otto went right on growing. And no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh, dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much? I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. Then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand, and he had a lot of other things, too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him, but Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. He took his black box with him and all of the other things, too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down, too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down in the water? Now I could see nothing. Not Otto, not Mr. Cart. Nothing at all. Would I see Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp, Mr. Carp, I yelled. What are you doing? Are you all right? Then up jumped Mr. Carp in his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my auto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. Now, that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more. Never more than a spot or something may happen. And now I know what. The end. Wasn't this a great book, boys and girls? Sometimes when people tell us to do things, we have to remember to listen because we never know what can happen. Like how the boy found out in the book, Otto would get really, really big and never stop growing. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, bye-bye.